Welcome to part 4 of the Snow Track Shader tutorial by Pierplay. In the previous part, we've created a script that allows us to draw on the split map using the mouse. In this part, we will apply that same logic to four individual wheels of a car so that we can drive around creating tracks in the snow. We'll use for the car movement some free assets from the Unity Asset Store. At this point, we have got the Draw with Mouse script working. Before we add a driving car to the scene, let's create public variables for the brush size and strength so we can easily increase and decrease the brush size to the size of our wheels. Open up the draw track to shader. Previously we've hard coded the size and the strength in the code, but now we will replace this with public variables. So go to properties and we'll add a size and a strength property. So let's first add size and the name is going to be size and it's going to be a range between 1 and let's say 500 for now and by default it's going to be 1 now we'll also add strength and strength will have the name strength and it's going to be a range between 0 and 1 and by default it's going to be 1 as well now that we declare the properties here, we also have to add them to the subshader. So let's say here in the subshader, we're going to create a half and the half will be the same uh, size and the next one we'll call strength. Now we can replace the 50 with size and we can replace the 0 0.1 with strength. Now at this point, the greater size is, the smaller the brush is. And this is a bit confusing, so we're going to flip the number. And the way to do this is to divide it. So we're going to hard code here 500, and we're going to divide this by size. And now if size is going to be 500, the result will be 1, and if it's 1, the result will be 500. Now as this shader is hidden, we cannot see the size and strength anywhere, but we can assign values to them through C-sharp. So let's do that in the draw with mouse C-sharp script. So let's add two public floats here. And the first one we'll call the brush size. And the second one we'll call the brush strength. Now let's also set some ranges for the floats in the inspector. So we can type range between the size is going to be a range between 1 and 500 and the brush strength is between 0 and 1 so it's going to be a range between 0 and 1. Now let's scroll down to the update function so we'll type draw material dot set float and which float are we going to set? We're going to set the strength and we're going to set the strength to brush strength Now also do the same for size. Dot set float is going to be the size, and we'll set that to brush size. Make sure that these names correspond exactly to the names that are written here. Now save the script and go back to Unity to check if everything's working. Now you'll notice two new sliders in the draw with mouse script. We've got the brush size and the brush strength. The size is for the size of the brush, of course, and the strength is the opacity. And it's clipped between 1 and 500 and 0 and 1. So if I'll make this 1, it's going to be a very hard brush, and I'll set this, uh, the size to 18. Uh, let's test that out. We see here a brush of 18. Now if I change this to let's say 2 we can draw with a brush of 2 now we're going to also set the opacity a bit lower now if I set this very high and set this very very low we can smoothly adjust the ground everywhere now that we have set up the brush variables let's create a driving car and apply the shader to the individual wheels 
On the Unity Asset Store, there's a free asset called CarScript Basic, created by Dot Team, which has the driving of a car all set up for us. Download the asset and import it into the project. Now go to the folder CarScript Basic, go to Prefabs and select the car demo and drag and drop that into the scene. The car is a little bit big, so let's set the scale to 0 0.1. Now set the max motor torque to 100 and you'll notice that this car has six different wheels and we only want to have four wheels. So let's remove the middle wheels, both of them. Let's go to the colliders and we'll remove the middle ones as well. Now at the dot truck controller set the size to 2 instead of 3 and we're going to select the different wheels. So we need the rear wheels, so the rear left and the rear right. Now let's also get the meshes of the rear left and the rear right. And this was just a little setup so we can drive around with a car. So if I press play and we're using the arrow keys we can steer and we can drive. Now in the intro of the tutorial I've used another free asset, the retro cartoon car Sisada, created by Retro Valorum. I've simply applied the car script to this model, but in this video I won't set that up. But it's a very nice free model, so thank you Valorum and be sure to check out his other products. Now let's apply the same logic as we did with the draw with mouse to the individual wheels of the car. So select the car demo and we're going to add a component and we'll type here a script and we'll call this wheel tracks. Now this script will be somewhat similar to the draw with mouse script so we're going to copy and paste some of the contents of draw with mouse into the wheel track C sharp script. So first of all inside the draw with mouse script we will select the my material draw material and draw shader copy that and paste it into the wheel tracks. Now go back to draw with mouse and in the start function we can copy all of these lines and paste them into the start function. Now we don't need to set this vector so let's remove that. Oh and this script is not running on the terrain so we need to reference to the terrain so we'll type a public game object and we'll call this terrain. And now we can say that uh, in here the get component it will be terrain dot get component. Now we want to raycast from the position of all the wheels on the car, so we need to get a reference to all the wheels. So let's say a public transform, and we'll make this an array, and we'll call this wheel. Now we're going to use a raycast, so we also need a raycast hit, and we'll call this ground hit. And we want the raycast to only work on the ground, so we're going to make a layer mask to make sure that we're on the ground. Let's say integer and we'll call this layer mask. Now in the start function we need to declare that the layer mask is going to be layer mask dot get mask. And now we need to have a name of our mask and we'll call this ground. But we haven't yet made ground, so we're going to create this layer mask in Unity. So let's go back to Unity. So select the plane, go to layer, add layer, and we're going to type here ground. Now make sure that you go back to a plane, which is the ground, and we'll select the layer ground. Now let's add some more variables to the wheel track script. So go to the draw with mouse and we're going to copy paste the private render texture splat map because I forgot to add that to this script. So let's add that here and now this should all work. Let's go back to draw with mouse and we also want to use the brush strength and brush size. So copy those and paste them here. Now before we write out the update function of the wheel track script, let's first save it and go back to Unity and we're going to fill some of the public variables. First of all the draw shader that is going to be the draw tracks, the terrain is going to be the plane, 
and in the wheel we can select some different transforms so we've got four wheels so let's type here four and now go to the car demo and we're going to go to the wheel meshes and we're going to add all of these to the list let's set the brush size to four for now and let's set this to one once this script is working we can set the size of the brush to exactly the size of the width of the wheel let's go back to the wheel track script and we're going to start writing out the update function and the first thing we need to do is to create a for loop because we're going to raycast the position of every wheel of the list of wheels so we're going to say for int i is zero i is less than and we're going to get the wheel array here wheel the length i plus plus now let's go back to draw with mouse and we're going to select everything within this if statement of the physics.raycast copy this and paste this inside the for loop and the only thing we need to change is the if statement we can keep the if physics.raycast but everything inside the raycast we're going to change so let's delete that and we're going to start by writing out the position and the position we need is the wheel and we need inside the for loop its current wheel we're going to check and we need to get its position and we want to raycast down so we'll type factor 3 dot up and to get the down value we'll just say minus now we want to get the hit info as well so we'll say out and we'll call this ground hit now in the previous script we've used hit the texture coordinate and we here we are using ground hit so let's apply that to these lines and the next thing we need to specify is the length and we'll just say one for now and then we need the layer mask and we'll call this layer mask let's close off the if statement and that should be all to make this script work so let's save the script and go back to unity so first of all let's go to the plane and we've got the draw with mouse script here and we can remove that now let's also remove this texture here so we'll start off with a blank plane now let's set this ground color to a gray color and we're going to set the displacement value to 0 0.05 now back to the car itself we've set the brush size here to 4 but we need to set this to 0 0.8 because that's going to be the correct amount for this car so I'm going to open up the script and I've set the range here to between 1 and 500 let's change that to between 0 and 2 well, let's go back now we can set the brush size a bit lower and we're going to set this at 0 0.8 now to clearly see where the car is driving we'll select one of the wheels and change the color of the wheels to black and let's now start up the scene and see the result of this tutorial part Now, each wheel draws to the split map, creating tracks in the snow. Pretty cool, right? In the next and final part of this tutorial, we will erase the created tracks slowly by falling snow particles. Thank you for following this tutorial. If you found this helpful, hit the thumbs up, and to stay updated with new tutorials, subscribe to the channel.